Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. The Gun Loves and Tentacle DLC is here and there are so many legendaries to get after. Today I bring you another legendary weapon guy and this one is for a weapon from Overwatch. We are talking about none other than Maze of Frozen Devil. That's right. Now this comes with the red text. Not sorry, not sorry, not sorry which is a reference from a character in Overwatch. That character is none other than Mei. Now, if you never played Overwatch, Mei is probably one of the most OP characters, and this is her weapon, the Frozen Devil. Now, the reason why they call her Frozen Devil is because, you know, she's Ice Queen, and she's pretty much the most OP character in the game. Hence the name. So, let's have a look at it. It comes with 380 on the damage. I have 82% accuracy, 64% handling, 2.3 on the reload speed, 2.65 on the fire rate and 20 in the magazine. Minus 73% weapon damage, so it's not supposed to deal damage, plus 36% weapon charge speed, 2.2 weapon zoom, and it's anointed on action skill and splash damage is increased by 125% for a short time. And it's a Molly Wan weapon. Now, where did I get this from? You're gonna have to take out that Kiwajaka. Now the Kiwajaka can be found in the new DLC. So you wanna pull up your map if you have it. Head over to Zerlagos and then head over to Nigel Nishai. Here you only have one fast travel station and it's going to be quite a bit of a trek. So from that starting location, you're going to make your way all the way over here. I'm going to show you. We're going to get there. It's pretty much all the way at the end of the map. Go up, 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 and up until you get all the way to right here. That's right, a crew challenge, Hammerlock, a cold hunt. Hunt down the legendary Kua Jack. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go. According to my local guidebook, it's good luck to kiss your love beneath the head of a Kukua Jack, which I believe translates to terrifying bug monster. Go at it! Nice. Now, if you don't get this bad boy to drop, as always, just cut out to the main menu, come back, and get your farm on until you get that Frozen Devil to drop. So, once again, Maze Frozen Devil. Her Overwatch gun has finally arrived in Borderlands 3. But, how well does this weapon perform in the end game? Well, we're going to take this over to the Proving Ground of the Instincts on Mayhem Mode 4. We're going to see how well this weapon performs. Now, you can switch to Cairo Genet and you can switch to Spikes, which pretty much do the same thing. That is, freeze enemies. This is not supposed to deal a lot of damage. So, if you was hoping that this weapon was going to be super OP, anything like that, it's not. It's just supposed to freeze enemies. Now, I wish it was OP. That would really be something. But it's not no ion laser. It is what it is. It does the job pretty well, if I don't say so myself. That is freeze enemies. So, if you're looking for a weapon that can freeze enemies, something that you can stack with, maybe like a Zane build, well, this is the weapon for you. Like I said, it's not built for doing damage, as you can tell from the stats. But hey, it is a lot of fun, and it does what it does, and that is freeze enemies. So yeah, that's pretty much going to end up for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Another step-by-step -step guide right here in Borderlands 3, so you can get those legendary weapons. So yeah, that's pretty much going to end up for the video. Now, as always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you really want to help out the channel in a video, because it really does help, you can do so by liking the video if you indeed like the video, and leaving a comment down below. Look, I listen in and answer all your questions, so hit me up, say what's up, and I will get to you back as soon as possible. Hope you and your family is doing well in these trying times. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.